Hey everyone, Creed Moore from Money.net coming to you with another trader's question. Today we're going to be talking about a long straddle and a long strangle. These are two option spreads that are great for beginners in the aspect of they allow you to pick a directional move and you can even day slash short term swing trade these positions. So let's go ahead and get into the definition of what a straddle and a strangle are. We're going to move right over here to the Analyze tab. When you are running a straddle, what you are doing is you are straddling one specific strike. So let's say, hypothetically, we suspect that the Qs are going to move up or down from the 308, but we just do not have a solid direction. Let's say it's a clean 50-50. When you run a straddle, you are purchasing a long straddle you are purchasing a put and a call here as that asset moves up or down from that specific strike you look to capture that momentum that push in volatility so to say this is a little bit more of an involved position because what you end up doing is let's say the asset moves up you would quickly clear that bearish position, the put on that side of the position, and you can clear the position in separate sections and allow that call to continue to run. Times you would use something like this can consist of FOMC meeting minutes, an economic report such as the oil report or the API numbers, etc. Things that the market tends to chill out for a little bit and does not give you a solid tip of the hat on which way it's going to go. This allows you to already be in the market and if we do get a huge volatility spike one way or the other, you are able to capitalize on that quickly. It is my opinion that if you are running one of these positions, you need to go ahead and have up your order window tab. That way, as soon as you get that tip of the hat in that volatile moment, you're able to clear that bottom position. So be it a put if we're going up or clear the call if we are going down and then ride that momentum as you're working through the asset. You then end up keeping the net difference as you do lose on one side of the trade. I do not recommend holding that losing side of the trade all the way through. In my opinion, that's a bad way to trade that straddle if you're going for a short volatile movement. Now, if you're going for more of a longer term position, then yes, there actually are ways that you can hold that straddle all the way up to a resisting structure, and then you're able to roll that other position as you see the asset coming down. My opinion though, if you're looking for a day trade slash short term swing trade, whichever way it is going, clear the opposite side and just ride that potential up. Now, let's get into a strangle. A strangle also benefits from a large directional move and it benefits from a large expansion in the implied volatility. The risk on this position is defined because keep in mind, you can only lose a maximum of what you put in it, the same as the straddle. The thing about it is it as well has unlimited profit potential, but what makes this difference is you are in between two strikes. So we can see here, let's say we see price action hovering around 307.50. That's where we see price and it keeps dancing about 10 to 15 cent, very low volatility type of day. And we see, okay, well, we know we have an economic event coming up, but price is just oscillating in the middle of all of these uh, two main strikes. You can run a strangle position and when that implied volatility hits the market, that economic report hits the market, you take the side that's winning. So let's say Powell comes on out of nowhere, gives some comments, and we start to drop. Cool. You would clear the call side of that position, and then you would continue to ride that 307 all the way down to your predetermined area.
All of these positions do need to have a predetermined area where you exit them. That's how you can also determine whether or not it's worth putting the trade on to begin with. You may ask yourself, well, how am I even going to know that? If you see that you have a trade, let's once again say, well, right now we're oscillating right in the center. We have the 307 and the 308, okay? We see that we have supporting structure at, let's call it 306. If you realize that that one delta drop there will not make up for all of the loss on the position you have have on the wrong side of the trade. So if we drop the 308, if the 308 loses more money than you are going to gain on that drop right there, it's not worth the trade. But if you have a wide enough position in that, let's say we were to drop to the 306 and claim two deltas, awesome you would then end up clearing that call side. You would have your loss, let's say you lost a delta, and then the position continues to ride its way down. Uh, you would then be able to capture that net. So we have the 307.50 where we've entered with a 308 call and a 307 put. The market drops, we lost one delta here, okay? So that scrubs out the delta that we gained here but we have one extra delta. That's our profit that we're able to keep. Um, straddles and strangles when going long, there I use them as a day trading aspect when we're coming into econ events, when I just do not have one way or the other. That way I can still be in the market and capture what's going on. As long as you're only using it as a day trade or a short-term swing trade position, and when I say short-term, I'm talking interweek, you know, one, two days, you're not really going to be too affected by that theta component. It does come into play, don't get me wrong, if you're holding it for a long period of time, but it's not something that is a major priority uh, when it comes to that position because when you're going long, a strangle or a straddle, you are looking for a volatile event to occur in the very near future so that you're able to capture that run. You just want to go ahead and be in the market because you may have something to do. You can set up a trailing stop position on this so that cleared the side, run the position, boom, I'm there. It's just an easier way to do everything in one order set than it is to go, okay, well, I'm going to send in a purchase order for this and a purchase order for that. Saves you on commissions, etc. Alrighty, peeps. Well, that is the long strangle and the long straddle. They're not super fancy. They, options, they like to have a whole bunch of different names. But at the end of the day, we'll wrap it up on this. If you believe that you have a solid strike, so you believe that, hypothetically, you believe that 308 is our number right there, then you're buying a put and a call. Okay, there you go. If we were to gain on this position here, what you would be looking at, let me change the date so I make sure we're on the correct date. And this is for next week's expiration. You can see if we were to go 1% up to the 310, we'd be up 25. If we were to go to the 304, uh, let me change that for you. You'd see we'd be up 39. So this is one of those things that's a 50-50 coin flip, but you're using 308 as your locking area. And if you believe that, okay, we're at the 307.50 area, so you're halfway in between two strikes, you would then run this position, and you can see the numbers are pretty much the same overall. Uh, again, this is just something you're getting into it. Is this my solid strike or are we in between price? I'm looking for a volatile move to happen in the near short future. Okay. Now I will get into some more in-depth ways to play these for longer term positions. But right now that is the day trading and short term position trading for a long strangle and a long straddle. If you have any questions, feel more than free to find me in the scalp pit and ask me anything that you've got. Feel free to comment in the comment section below and hit me up with uh, all kinds of questions. Let me know uh, what else you want to see throughout the market. Uh, we're in an interesting market to say the least and there's plenty of opportunity out there if you know how to claim it. 
All right, everyone, links are in the description. Have some fun with that subscribe button. Share this video with your family so we can continue to grow this awesome community and look out for future videos. As always, remember, your trades are in the history, and I'll see you around. Stay green, peeps, and happy Memorial Day weekend.